Today, I'm going to show you an amazing image enhancer tool, AIRT Image Enhancer. It's a generative AI-powered image enhancement software that can de-blur, denoise, restore, and upscale images using advanced AI models. This is a unique AI software with one of the best AI algorithm for upscaling. It can upscale your images up to 32K. So if you are a photographer or a documentary video editor, you might want to take a moment and check out this incredible and affordable software. I will walk you through it and show you how easy it is to use. Now let's jump in. I will use some photos as an example to show you exactly how it performs. Alright, so go to the link in the description, download the AIRT image enhancer and try it out for free. The installation process is very simple, I have already installed it, so I am going to open it up. This is the clean and simple interface, you can drag and drop your image here to start or click on the arrow icon to select your image. I am going to use this photo as an example, as you can see, it's very low quality image and we have to increase the quality as well as the resolution of the image. We have an option to switch between side by side view or a slider to compare before and after. On the right side, we can select the hardware for processing. I'm going to select GPU. Here we have different AI models to choose from. To know about each AI model, simply click on the question mark and you will get more information about it. In the upscale section, you can choose 1x, 2x, 4x or 8x or select a specific resolution 1k, 2k, 4k or 8k depending on how much do you want to upscale your images. There's another option called 2-pass processing which helps sharpen blurry images even more. You can also turn face restoration on or off to enhance facial details. Now you can see the before and after comparison. It's definitely a high quality image, sharper and more detailed than the original. It has done a pretty good job. You can also check the image size before and after. It's multiple times better than the original. Now moving to the export settings, we also have batch export. If you are working with multiple images, click on the plus icon and add multiple images at once. Adjust the setting for all and export them in one go, it's pretty simple. In export settings, we can choose between PNG 8-bit and 16-bit or directly export as JPEG which is great. You can also select DPI, I'm going to use at the original DPI which is the default setting. Then we have the compression label. This determines how much compression is applied to the exported image. Finally, select the output folder, click on export and you are done. And here are all the exported images as you can see. They look far better than the original. Pretty amazing, right? So check out the link in the description and try it out for free. My name is Vikas Kumar and I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.